Hello. Welcome to Storytime with Sugar. Today we're reading Bozo the Clown. Bozo, said the circus boss, we've lost our lion tamer. You'll have to take his place. But boss, said Bozo with a shiver, I'm no lion tamer. I'm just a plain clown. You're now a lion tamer, the boss said as he walked away. Be ready for the act in an hour. Oh, my. What are you going to do, Bozo? asked Butch, his little friend. Bozo thought for a minute. Follow me into my dressing tent, Bozo said. I think I've got an idea, and you can help. Bozo dug into an old trunk and pulled out a lion costume. There, said Bozo, all you have to do is put on this costume and take the place of the real lion. The boss won't guess it's you. Just before circus time, Butch climbed into an empty cage and the door was locked. I'll tell the boys to open the right-hand cage, said Bozo as he walked away. The show began. The people cheered as the circus boss shouted, Introducing Bozo, the world's greatest lion tamer. The cage was opened and out jumped a lion, but it wasn't Butch. Someone had made a mistake and let out the real lion. But Bozo didn't know the difference. Don't overdo your acting, Butch, he said as the lion snapped at him. You're tearing my best clown suit. The lion opened his mouth and roared a mighty roar. Bozo laughed. You're wonderful, Butch. You're acting like a real man-eating lion, said Bozo. Let's make this look good, said Bozo. First, I'll punch you on your false nose. The punch made the lion see stars. Now, for the funniest part of our act, said Bozo. He took the lion by the tail and swung him round and round. Then he let him go when the lion went flying. Bozo cracked his whip above the lion's head. The dazed lion got to his feet and jumped through hoops and crawled through barrels and even sat up and begged. But as Bozo bowed to the crowd's applause, the lion shook his head and came out of his daze. Bozo felt a tap on his head and turned around. All of a sudden, he realized that it was not Butch he was facing, but a real and very angry lion. At that moment, the circus boss heard Butch's cries for help. What's up, said the boss as he hurried to unlock the cage. And what are you doing in that lion costume? Never mind, boss, for it's a long story, and Bozo's in trouble. Bozo certainly was in trouble, for now the lion had the whip, and Bozo was jumping through hoops and keep leaping from barrel to barrel, while Butch and the boss looked on helplessly. Poor Bozo even sat up and begged while the lion bowed to the crowd's applause. Ho, 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 laughed the boss as he rolled in the sawdust with glee. That's the funniest act I ever saw. Bozo, you and the lion must do that act for every performance. No, thanks, said Bozo wearily. I wasn't cut out to be a lion tamer. I think I'll go back to being just a plain clown.